After finishing buccal, lingual, and proximal aspect of the lower five, now we can start with the occlusal aspect. The outline is square because, as we know, there is no lingual convergence in this tooth. First, we will remove the old midline and draw a new one, dividing the occlusal surface equally. Then, making the mesial and distal marginal ridges by leaving one millimeter uh, mesial and distal and draw a short line, making the triangle fossy with the tip of the carver 45 degree on the occlusal surface by just removing small part of the wax. Now we will open what we call a V-notch to separate buccal and lingual halves from the cusp tip toward the midline from both sides buccal and lingual. As we see, keep, all, keep away from the cusp tip to preserve the crown lens. Now the buccal and lingual cusps are separated, but this tooth is a three cusp type one, so we need to separate the two lingual cusps by dividing the lingual surface into Two thirds for the mesial and one third for the distal. Then making another V notch to separate these two lingual cusps. After this uh, step, we will have a simulation for the three cusps of the lower five one buccal on the buccal half and two lingual, the mesiolingual occupying two thirds of the lingual aspect, and the distal lingual will occupy uh, the one third. This is the V notch. We will go from the tip toward the depths. And from the other side to create a notch and separating the two lingual cusps. Now we will carve, start to carve uh, this cusp as we know from the upper four by drawing a midline, then go 45 degree downward sloping from the cusp tip till reaching the fossy. And your carver tip should be directed toward the fossy. For the mesiolingual cusp, as we see, we will slope towards the central fossa distally and toward the mesial triangle fossa mesially. As we see, and for the buccal cusp, go sloping 45 degree also toward a mesial triangle fossa mesially and distal triangle fossa distally. Don't pass the fossae to not break the marginal ridges and always taking support during cutting to uh, protect the marginal ridges. This the buccal slopes. Now for the distal lingual cusp, be careful and take your time. We don't want to overcut. Draw your midline. Go forty-five degrees sloping from the cusp tip toward distal triangle fossa distally and central fossa mesially. Now. We will uh, redraw uh, your central, our central groove, developmental groove, and lingual groove to accentuate the final Y-shaped groove. Going with the tip of the carver from the fossae to the grooves. This is the lingual groove. Finish your work and accentuate your grooves and fossae by removing any wax dippers from the groove toward the cusp slopes, as we see with the tip of the carver. And after this step, we will have an occlusal aspect with three cusps, each having a triangle ridge and distal mesial slope. And three fossae, the center one and mesial and distal triangle fossae, and the Y shaped groove connecting uh, this fossae and extending lingually between the two uh, lingual cusps. Use your cusp tip and soft brush for finishing the occlusal surface and never ever use any synthetic material. Removing the wax dippers with the cusp tip. Accentuate the grooves. Use a sharp uh, carver. 
to help you in the work. And thank you.